Hello there gamers, I'm Veep and Ninja, and today we return again to Don't Stop Back with Webber, the little spider boy that was eaten by the spiders, and now he's spider boy? Yeah, that's what we'll go with. Um, alright, so, last episode I said a bunch of stuff about a giveaway, we did in fact do that, so some of you guys gave some fantastic suggestions, most of you guys just said randomize it, and I know that's a good way of doing it, I just, I don't know, it's not... It's not interesting enough for me. I need more interesting. Um, but I did choose a winner, and his comment will be on the screen now, and I'll go ahead and send him the key. If you guys already own the DLC and you would like me to give it to some, uh, someone else, uh, feel free to just respond to the message that I'll be sending out on YouTube with the key. Um, and let me know, because that, that would be a nice thing to do, because then someone else who doesn't own it can get it, and that's just cool. That's a cool thing to do. Um, okay, there we go. Also, train, train is here. But, um, also, I won't be doing a giveaway this episode, but I do have some great ideas, and they will be coming in the future episodes. Uh, I only had enough money for one key right now, which I thought I had more, but apparently I didn't, so I gotta get paid first, uh, and then I will buy some more to give away. It shouldn't be too long, um, hopefully I'll get it within the next few episodes, so, yeah. You guys can look- What is on your face? Dude, that looks nasty. That does not look good. That looks disgusting in a really perverse kind of way. That's gross. All right, let's let's move on from that. Um, all right, what were what were we doing? I we were gonna set up a base over there, and then we almost died, and then we came over here. That's right. That's right. I remembered somewhat. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and adventure some more, and then we'll try and find some stone. I feel like that should be our, our, our main objective this episode. Ooh, sweet. Didn't I already find one of these? I thought. Did I? I mean, I know there can be more than one. I just, uh, I felt like I found one right next to our spawn, but our spawn, it must have been in the last Weber world, because I, I remember finding one, like, right next to spawn when we spawned as Weber, uh, but it must have been in the other world. Um... Alright, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that because we got it anyway, so it's going to be helpful. I would actually like to set up base kind of close to that as well. That's something I haven't done before, but I've been meaning to do. Because that way, if you do die, you can respawn next to your base, and hopefully you'll have some sort of supplies that will keep you alive throughout the season that you're in. Uh, right now, I believe we're in autumn, which frankly is not a hard season at all. I believe that's what season we're in. You guys still didn't, you know, like officially answer me on that you're just like suggesting towards other things I think it's cuz I announced that giveaway and I distracted you all uh, but I still don't know what season we're actually in but I'm pretty sure it's autumn uh, which means winter is next and there's a winter giant that we got to prepare for because apparently he's rather difficult come back tumbleweed thank you I got you lots of sticks don't really need any more sticks I would like um, I don't know I'd like some really fancy rare blueprint that'd be cool Hmm, maybe we'll find that. Um, but I would also like to try and locate Glomer today, since that's coming up fairly soon. What do we got up in there? Alright, it's that, it's that thing. I don't care about that thing. That, ooh, hello, hello, you. I can't fight you, can I? I'll die if I fight you, won't I? I remember, I have killed them, but I've killed one of them before. I just, I think I almost died when that happened. They are passive, though, so I don't think they'll attack me, hopefully. Uh, what am I doing out here? That is the question. Let's go ahead and get some stone while we're out here. Um, but we don't really have any other reason to be out here. We should be exploring the other areas where we might possibly set up a base. I think there's pretty much no... Ch well, actually, if it stays hot in winter here, this actually could be a great place to set up base. I just don't know how that works exactly. And we are kind of lacking any... Well, we're not lacking any food resources, but we're lacking... Uh, enough food resources I should say so I don't know if this would be the best place but if it does keep us warm you know you gotta do what you gotta do living in the desert might be what we gotta do alright so we got enough for our fire pit now I would like to get uh, oh we need one gold have we found the pig king did we find the pig king I remember we found those weird pigs but not the pig king so no I don't believe we have okay hmm once we find him we can get plenty of gold because I believe he has a, a little little plug or something like that I don't I don't remember exactly what it is but I'm pretty sure he has uh, something for the pig king surely we have something that could make him happy and if not we can always just go dig up some graves or something like that gold is not all that uncommon hey it's another one two in one episode we got double the lives that we had last episode wait no we have triple the lives okay 
messed up that math, but that's all right. Um, that's sweet though. That's gonna make this much more relaxing, I guess. Uh, I won't necessarily make it easier, but it will calm my nerves. That's nice. Um, okay. Well, we don't have to prepare for all that stupid rain and the stupid frogs now, which is kind of what I've gotten used to. Uh, stupid. Hey, mandrake. Yes, and I can eat it now. Sweet. Okay, uh, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out, Chester. Oh. Oh, uh, seeds. I don't eat. Whatever. Cool. Um, there should be more mandrakes around here somewhere. I think... Wait, let's go look around over here in this grassy area, because usually they stay in the same... Yeah, there he is. Okay. I knew it. They usually spawn in sort of the same area. Uh, I don't think they've always done that. When they first added them, I'm pretty sure they didn't, but they do now, and usually there's three or four, so I feel like there could be more over here, and we should be safe to stay over here, actually, uh, I know there's spiders around here, but frankly, that's not, oh, you know what, we're a spider, can we even give stuff to the pig king, will he even want anything from us, do not, no, it's just Chester, it's just Chester, he's my little friend, okay, you jerk. Alright, so apparently the recording stopped and I didn't notice it. Um, I ran out of space on my hard drive, so I had to stop for a minute and clear things out. So we're over here now. I don't know where it actually stopped recording at. I think it was somewhere like back, I don't know. But we've just been walking anyways. We did find uh, uh, the touchstone, so that's pretty cool. So you guys didn't miss much, uh, but uh, yeah, I just I need to remember to clear out my hard drive every once in a while. Let's go ahead and eat this. Hello, spatters. Alright, <clears throat> so, 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 we should go to, we should go ahead and start chopping down some trees, try and collect some more wood, I think that's what I was trying to do beforehand, I don't exactly remember, hopefully we'll be fine around these spiders, I assume we will since, you know, we are kind of a spider, but you never know, spiders aren't very dependable, they don't really seem to stick to one train of thought, um, I do know they will still attack Chester though, so that's something we would like to save. I would like to save Chester if at all possible. I don't know where they are. I think there's a spider nest up. Oh, I heard you. There you are. No. Leave Chester alone. Look, we're brothers here. We're brothers. I got the silky beard. Yes, okay. Good spider. Good spider. Alright, I still think that this, the beard looks a bit weird. It looks it looks pretty weird, actually. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's an awesome idea and everything. But, I don't know, I feel like it definitely needs retexturing, uh, just in my opinion. It doesn't look so much like a beard, mm, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, probably I'm the only person that thinks like that. That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, we'll go ahead and light this place up, try and get some more side of these trees. Can't see anything here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should... I don't know which direction we're actually going to head, and we're kind of walking without any certain direction because we ran out of path space. That looks really cool. The pig house with the... Oh, it's lit up. Okay, so I totally thought there were fireflies there, but it wasn't. It's just a pig house with a tree in front of it, and it looked neat, okay? It looked pretty cool. Alright. Um, I guess we'll just walk until the edge. I assume the edge shouldn't be uh, too far away. Yeah, there it is. I just want to sort of get a general idea of where all the biomes are and everything like that so that we can know where the resources are that we need if we need them. But I think now we'll go ahead and head back up there and start setting up our base. Let's go ahead and eat those before they go bad. Um, poop. Got any more poop for me? Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just going to steal this poop. I'm going to steal this poop. It's all my poop. It's all mine, Beeflo. Get out of the way. Don't you dare touch me. Alright, but we'll head up and we'll start setting up our base again. I think we'll try and set up uh, somewhere near the touchstone. Not like directly next to it, but you know, somewhere within close walking distance of it. Or even possibly, we could do it like set up near a wormhole that's near it. I don't know, that could be interesting, just having a wormhole. Uh, so that we could jump across the map. That could be really interesting actually. Hmm... I don't know, we would have to kind of find a wormhole, and I don't actually know if there's one near it or not. If there was one right next to it, I'd say go ahead and do that, just, you know, for the sake of being awesome. But, 
without knowing where one is, I don't think it's worth trying. All right, there's several... Okay, so that path leads nowhere. There's another path that splits off over there. Let's go ahead and check that out real fast before we set up our base. We'll have our base set up um, by the end of the next episode. <laughs> That's usually how we do it. I say I'm going to set it up for a... Wait. Oh, it's farther up. Okay. Um, but I say I'm going to set it up for like three episodes, and then I finally get it set up like on the fourth or fifth episode. That's usually how it works out. Hey, there is a... Mm. It's right there, too. Oh, and it's connected to a, a desert slash not desert biome. Ah, this could be cool. I don't know. We might do this. Um. Oh, okay. No, we don't want to be here right now. We can come back and get that probably later on. Uh, one suggestion that you guys had was actually to use the uh, use the old bell to smash the, the, the huts, the little houses, which is actually a really interesting idea that I didn't think of before. Uh, that we can definitely try. I think we will actually try that later on. Ah, no! I just got here! Just leave me alone! Just give me a few seconds to get adjusted to where I am. I need to get acquainted with this new area. Alright, so that's not the best positioning. Dang it. I was hoping for something a little bit better than that. This is actually kind of the opposite of where I wanted to be. It's farther away from the base uh, than I wanted to be. Okay. And now we're going insane, so that's not good. We might... Well, I could eat, I could eat that. But I'd rather save that. I would definitely rather save that, because that is great for emergencies. It's time for a snack. It is indeed. Maybe I'll grab myself a little... Wait, what the... Oh, that's me. Oh. Oh, I look different on... Okay. That makes sense. Uh, I just didn't think about it, really. <laughs> All right, let's get away from those uh, dark flowers before they make us completely insane. Oh, there's ice up there. Very, it's a mini glacier. Hmm, a little mini glacier. All right, that's interesting. There's another one. Okay. Oh, oh, it's you guys again. Oh, is the picking here by any any chance? Oh, I gotta like, oh, I gotta try something with that. Look at all those berries. That's awesome. Uh, we could definitely try something with that. I think we will. We'll try to like block them in and then block them around the torches so that we can get to all those berry bushes, which will stay alive. Oh, that'll be a perfect base for a, a perfect place for a base later on. Uh, of course, right now it's it would be rather hard to achieve that. We're going to need a lot of resources, but I think that's a great goal to like set ourselves towards uh, try and, you know, block them off. We'll have infinite light right there so we don't have to waste any resources on that ever again, which is fantastic. I mean, that's just a great thing obviously um and then of course the berries will keep us pretty full and i don't think they ever really stop growing i mean i know in summertime they can like wither i don't know what happens in winter with the berries i don't know if anything happens with them honestly i i i, I it seems like something should i don't know i don't know i don't know at all all right whatever that's fine um so before we do in this episode, which should still be a little a little while away, I want to I want to choose uh, where we're gonna set up our base. This probably what the heck was that? What was that? Did you what? 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 That sound... It sounded like the Pingles? I, I seriously thought there was going to be like Pingles popping up out of... Was it these guys? Were you guys making the sound over here? Is this tree still mad at me? No, the tree is back to normal. Okay. I don't know what it was. That was so weird. That was really weird. Really, really weird. Alright. Uh, I do have plenty of stuff for fire. That's good. Oh, look at how much gr grass I got. That's fantastic. That is great stuff. Um, it's raining. It's raining. It's pouring. And that's where I drop my stuff. I think this is sort of a, a, a general good place. It's not the best place. I, I'd almost like to set up near those Maxwell statues. That could be interesting looking. We're going to have several bases set up is what I figure. We'll have several bases split up throughout the map. We'll try and make them uh, good. I'm trying different strategies here. 
because several bases mean we don't have to stick to one. It also means we need a lot more resources. All right, so we can't set up there because they'll just, you know, mess us up. <laughs> hmm. I still like the idea. All right, we're just going to set up one base over this way, near the catcoons, the pond, uh, and that those farm plots. I think that'll be a good place for one. Uh, and it's a good place to start, at the least. Um... I feel like anyways. I feel like that'll be that'll be a nice place to start. I mean it's not it's not bountiful in the in the resources, but I don't intend on staying there very long. I just sort of want a place to set up a base and you know, have a place to research stuff and there we go. Okay, that's good. Let's get it panic panicking talking and I don't want to die. Yes. Okay. Cook this. Eat that up. Taste taste. Oh that was like nothing. I got a melon still, it's probably gonna break. I got two gears, so we can actually go ahead and like set up a fridge right away too. Uh, so that's pretty great. So, still need one gold. We can actually get that from <clears throat> the stones in some areas. There's some up, up here, I think. Yeah, we can probably get them from right up here. I believe there were a few that are the right kind, because some of them have like veins of of gold running through them, that's where we get that. That's where I'm planning on getting that from anyways. Uh, it's not the only place, of course, but... Why do I have this pickaxe? It's about to break. It's worthless to me. Get this too. What, what is that? Is that like, no? Okay. Splishy splashy. Say spider webber. Webber webber. All right, do I have enough for, yeah, let's go ahead and just make this. Cause this seems to be raining pretty heavily now. We might as well. Um, where did the rest of the... I thought I had eight. Oh, and then I made the... Of course, yes. Uh, yeah, we have a bung. A bung. A hardened rubber bung. It's a bung, everybody. Alright. That should be enough to get us throughout the night. Mm, grass, why you not stack? Here, burn that. We need things to be even in our inventory. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, let's get out of here, Chester. Let's go find a. Do I go up or I go? I go down. Okay, we'll go over here. Come on, Chester. We're going. We're making. We're making things happen. Yeah. That doesn't really make any sense. I don't care. We don't have enough. Uh, enough health to go and really try and do anything over there. I would. Now nah, we don't need any more grass right now. We got 40 grass. I think that'll be okay. Ah, oh, you're right in the way. You're right in my way. No, no. Ah, it's your butt. Oh, great. Great. The frogs. Great. This is a frog pond. I guess that is actually better than a mosquito pond, but still. Just great. Hello, Catacoon. You're going to be my little buddy. Okay, we're little... We're little we're, ow, ow. Okay. Oh, no. Don't do that. That did hurt. Alright, so the kitties don't like me either. Weber is just utterly hated by everyone. This sucks. This, like, seriously sucks, man. Maybe I should set up over here with the vultures. The vultures don't mind me, right? Yeah, I'm just a little spider. Yeah! Alright, the vultures will be my friends. Jerk cat. Freaking ow. We really need to get... Alright, you know what? We're gonna go ahead... We're gonna eat one. I know it's probably a waste, but I want I want to get one. I just wanted to have reset health, pretty much. So we're gonna go ahead and eat one. There we go. Sweet. Uh, that way we can set up over here and we can deal with those catcoons as we please. I wonder if we like build a wall around it. Will that stop them from getting out? And then maybe I can just like farm them whenever I want to. That could be interesting. Set up a catcoon farm. No, I don't want to. I want to build these, but I want to build that tonight. Um, da, 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 whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and build it. Alright. Ah, I won't build it. I lied. Haha, <laughs> tricks you. Alright, so we should try and run and grab that gold. That'll be the last thing we do. We know where we want to set up our base. Uh, we want to set up right there. That's where we want to set it up. And we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with walls, which I've like never really messed with before. I think we'll probably do wood wall. Ah! Ah! Don't do that! Stupid little merm. Um, we could do hay wall. I don't... Hay wall segments. Not very sturdy. 
But so long as nothing's trying to break through, it should be fine, right? Because I'm pretty sure, like, pigs won't try and break through them, I think. I, I know the hounds will. The hounds are just total butts and will try to break through everything. What does this lead to? What does this lead to? Hang on, B. I'm going to take your flower and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to see where this goes. This could be bad or good. Which is it? Yeah, it's amazing! Yes! Yeah! No! Leave me alone! I found Glover! Suck it, pig! Suck it in the face! In your face! You can suck it! You can suck it so much in your face! In your face, piggy! Alright, where in the world are we? Okay! We're actually not that far off of where we were down here. Hmm. That's interesting that we ended up over here. Um... I like that. I like that a whole lot. There's that right there to get to the Glomer statue super easily. So we can come back over here, you know, get the crap that we want and head right back out. That's that's amazing. I love I love it. I love it. It's so good. This world just keeps getting better. Um, all right, so balls to the gold. I want to get over there and mine that statue real fast. And then next episode uh, should be the episode where we get ourselves a Glomer back. Yes, yes, indeed. All right, crap. I need more flint. I don't think I'll have enough to mine the statue, actually. Do you have any flint, Chester? Did I leave any with you? No, no. no. Oh, you do have a pickaxe, though. That should be enough. I don't know why I have two pickaxes, but whatever. Also, there's uh, that thing right there. Ding. That did nothing. And this one might break, too. Hey, we got it. Okay. Ta-da. This is all I wanted. Drop that. Do -do. I learned things. The magical man, I learned the magic. That's weird. Why am I speaking like that? I do not know. I don't not know. That doesn't make any real sense. What do I want to... You put that in there. There we go. Alright, I, I think the Pig King actually should be over here too. This seems like a, a big open grassy... There he is. Ah! No! I just want to deliver something to your King Pig. To King Pig Man. Alright, so clearly I'm not going to have much of a chance of getting over there. Um, alright, but we'll go ahead and set up, well, we don't need to set up a fire yet, uh, but that's where we're going to end this episode, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, congratulations to the winner of the first giveaway, many more to come, uh, and thank you for all of your ideas on how to give things away, because now, I know how to do it, um, did I actually say how I was going to, I don't know if I actually said how I was going to do it, uh, but pretty much what's going to happen is in one video I'll announce at the start of the video that I will be giving something away, uh, and then somewhere throughout the video there will be a little pop-up message with question, with a question related to Don't Starve, uh, it'll be like a riddle, and it'll be related to Don't Starve, and the first person uh, to get the correct answer will win the DLC, or you know, whatever giveaway I do in the future. Uh, and I really like that idea because then it's not completely based on randomness. There is some sort of, you know, knowledge needed. And also that pay that way, you know, if you can't you can't just have duplicate accounts and come and spam, uh, you know, I want it. And then you get multiple, you know, entries into the randomness because I always hate it when people do that. And they do do that a lot. Uh, so, yeah, that's why that's one of the reasons why, at least uh, I don't like randomness. Plus, I just like. You know, seeing if I can stump you guys with my riddles. Aha! I'm like the Riddler. <laughs> Alright, but that's going to be the end of this episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been the Ape and Ninja with our freaky silk beard and Chester. Yes, we're freaky, Chester. We are freaks with a silky, silky beard and Chester. Yes. Alright, but that's going to be it for today. Peace out, the Ape and Ninja.